What's going on guys, Nettie New here. Today I'm going to do a quick video, just a basic rundown on how I set up my DJI Ronin with my camera. This video won't go into detail as far as like fine tuning the DJI Ronin. So if you're new to the Ronin and want to learn more about the Ronin, uh, make sure you guys search up some other videos. There's tons of videos made by DJI doing a proper setup. I'm just going to show you guys a quick setup of how I do mine, how I set mine up and stuff like that. So let's get started. <clears throat> First off, I'm using the A6300 MC11 1835. This is the Canon mount. I also have the small ridge cage. This is the base plate by DJI. I used the second hole. So let's go ahead and mount that on. Very simple. Put that on. I do also use the lens support just because the Sigma 1835 is such a heavy lens. You guys all know that. It's a 1.8 lens, but it's a super great lens, so it's definitely worth the wait. Once that's on, you make sure you adjust this. <coughs> Everything looks good. <coughs> you also want to make sure you have your battery, uh, memory card, your lens hoods, if you want to use your lens hood. Um, there's times when I don't use my lens hood and I put an ND filter on, because when you put the variable ND filter on, you can't use the lens hood no more. So it depends on what you're shooting. For nighttime, when I'm shooting at night, I don't use the ND filter. I put on the lens hood just for protection and then when I'm shooting outside full daylight I'll use the ND filter. If you guys are wondering what kind of ND filter I use, I use the Tiffin variable one. We have the DJI Ronin. I have my monitor which has a cable. I also have um, the P-Tap, so the USB P-Tap. <coughs> what this does is basically it takes power from the Ronin. So it takes power from the Ronin and it has a little USB core right here that goes into the Sony A6300 and that keeps the battery fully, that keeps the battery charged. So if you do this setup, you actually get a longer run time before your battery goes out and you have to change it out on the Sony A6300. I've done concert where I don't have to change them out for like two, three hours. The Ronin will charge your battery. It doesn't provide a sufficient charge where it'll keep up with the battery to keep it fully maintained. So it'll keep your battery charged drop charge drop 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 so you'll probably go you'll go longer than not having your camera plugged to a power source so we're gonna slap this on and also note that my ronin is somewhat balanced already for this setup because i've been using it for a couple days so it's gonna be really really quick make sure you have all your code cables plug in so this is for the monitor this cord right here is the p-tap i was just talking about which goes to the power uh, which keeps the battery charged First thing I do is I hold this piece here. This is the roll axis. I hold it so it doesn't keep rolling. And then I adjust the, um, this is the pan. So I adjust it until it's, I adjust it until it stop. It doesn't move around back and forth. Once that's good, I'll go ahead and lock it in. And then the, else, and then the next axis I adjust is this axis right here. And you gotta watch out because sometimes the lens hood does hit the top of the motor. So I adjust this axis, which is held by these two bolts right here. That's good already. And then I adjust the row axis. The row axis is this axis, this axis right here. And this is controlled by these two bolts down here. You slide this back and forth. It's already balanced. It's already balanced in my opinion. Um, just some small tweaks here. Put this cord out, yeah. Yeah, so that's honestly good enough for me. And then you also got to balance this axis, which is controlled by this screw right here. And usually the way you find out if it's balanced is you can hold it like this on your T-handle and it has to stay in place. It can't be moving like how it's doing right now, but I know mine is balanced. My chair here is kind of off. Another way you can do it too is you're on, if you're on the original T-handle, you put it on the sideway like this and you kind of just let it go. It's supposed to stay still. I think mine's off a little bit, but for video purpose, we'll just move on. So the next thing I do is I turn it on, press it once and then hold it, hold it for the second time. And then also go to your mobile phone, your smartphone, um, turn on your Bluetooth and you should have the Ronin Assistant app. They really need to update the Ronin app because it really lags a bit. Sometimes I have to go out of the application and then go back in and then it'll detect the Ronin, so it's kind of annoying, but I'm not sure you guys can hear it. But the motor is making noise, so that means that it's it's unbalanced right now. So we're gonna have to go ahead and tune it. So basically, this step is how I do it. So now you can see right there, it's done. First thing I do is I go to the motors. I go to the motors and I do auto tune stability. 
this basically automatically tunes your motor to make sure that it's the stiff, perfect stiffness, which in reality is not the perfect stiffness. You will have to go in there and adjust it. For auto tune, I usually do it two times just to do it again. <sighs> okay, so once it's done finishing auto tune, <coughs> What I'll adjust manually is just the stiffness column, the stiffness column for the pan tilt, and usually I don't adjust the row axis. So for the pan, we're at 63. Usually I'll bump it up to maybe it will do 70. Tilt axis, it's at 26. We'll probably go with 34. And usually you want to bump it up to the point when it's stiff enough, but the motor is not making noise. So you can see the motor is making noise right now. So that means too stiff. So we're gonna bump the pan axis back down to maybe 65. Tilt axis, let's bump it back down to maybe 31. And you wanna just kinda put pressure on the motor and see if it make noise, or you wanna just maybe play around with it. So it looks good. So after that, you can go ahead and adjust the smooth track. If you guys are not sure what smooth track is, it basically controls how fast your pan is and stuff like that. I'm not even gonna go into details on that. Um, the other thing I do adjust is the calibration calibrate system. <clears throat> every time I set up my Ronin, every time I do a full balance, or every time I do any of that, I always go and do a calibrate system. And it basically calibrates the system so that your Ronin is straight with the axis, the horizon is straight, etc. etc. A lot of people, I think they skip that, that part or they forget to do the calibrate system, or they do it once in a while, which I recommend you doing every time. Every time you set up your own and every time you balance it, just do a calibrate system. It's super quick. I actually do it two times, so that's the second time it's doing right now. Once this is finished, I'm pretty much ready to roll. I shut off my phone and I pretty much start recording. I get my camera adjust as far as um, internal adjustments, camera settings, stuff like that, and then I start shooting and we're ready to go just like that so there you go there you goes there you have it that's how I set up my DJI Ronin for filmmaking and for whatever um, if you guys got any questions please feel free to leave the comments in the section down below and uh, let me know what kind of videos or tutorial videos you guys would like to see in the near future and I was um, I'll be more than happy to make those videos possible uh, subscribe if you guys haven't and I'll see you guys next time bye bye